thousands of soldiers from California ordered to repay bonuses from the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Congress is launching an investigation amid bipartisan outcry. The government is also examining whether this happened in other states. And for the first time, we're hearing from both the White House and the Secretary of Defense speaking out on the controversy. NBC's Ann Thompson has more. The demand California National Guard members pay back enlistment bonuses sparking fury online. It's a disgrace the way we treat our heroes. I'm disgusted by this action. Outrageous treatment of vets. Iraq and Afghanistan veterans of America starting a petition calling on the Defense Department to forgive this error, building support with the hashtag pay them back. If our government can bail out banks uh, and so many other folks that have done wrong, it seems mind-boggling that they can't bail out some so service members who've put their life on the line in defense of this country. They needed my skills. Robert D'Andrea, uh, one of 10,000 soldiers enticed by the bonuses for a second tour in Iraq. We did our duty, and now they're slapping us in the face for it. An audit revealed the California National Guard improperly paid bonuses as it tried to boost its ranks during the height of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. That led to a fraud investigation resulting in seven convictions. Today, President Obama requested an expedited appeals process for soldiers. The White House says while not supporting blanket forgiveness, the soldiers will not be held responsible for someone else's fraud. In Paris... Secretary of Defense promised action. We are going to look into it and resolve it. Even in this caustic campaign season, Democrats and Republicans united in calls to stop collection efforts. Now Robert D'Andrea is fighting again, appealing to keep his $20,000 bonus. I upheld my end of the bargain. Having already paid with his service. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.